Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is a Series 7 Guru coming to you from my undisclosed off-grid studio with an explication request. Uh, this uh, is the question that was uh, requested. Uh, Capco has an outstanding 6% $100 par preferred stock issue, as well as a dollar par common stock. If Capco's last reporting earnings per share for the year were $3, and the market price of the preferred stock is $120, and the common is at $45, it would be correct to state. Well, okay, so uh, what this is testing you on is a lot of, uh, oh, I call it the Jedi mind trick, where they're trying to cloud your mind with all kinds of things that aren't pertinent into answering this question, right? The P-E ratio is 15 to 1. The P.E. ratio is very testable on many exams. It's testable on both uh, the Series 7, the 65, the 66. And the way we get the price to earnings, so we're just going to test this out, is we take price 45, we divide by earnings, and when we do that, we get, indeed, 15 to 1. So it seems like that, indeed, uh, would be the answer, right? If we take 45, the price, we divide it by the earnings, three, we get 15 to one. So A is truthful, so that looks like it's the answer. Uh, let's see what B says. Price to earnings is 40 to one. No, maybe they're hoping you grab something here with the preferred stock it has nothing to do with answering this question. The current yield on the common stock is greater than that of the preferred. Well, we should be able to do current yield. Uh, let me get my calculator out here. Uh, I'm just, you know, by the way, if on the test, I'd be done. I would say it's 15 to 1, and I'd move on to my next performance opportunity. Uh, but let's see if we can do current yield here. Current yield 6% is $6, uh, and I paid 120 So if I do that, that's 5%. And if I take the $3, well, we don't have a dividend. So I can't even do the current yield on the common. So C is out. I can't answer that unless I know what the dividend is. Right. So how much of that three dollars was actually distributed to the shareholders as a dividend? We don't know that. So C is out. Uh, the preferred stock is selling a price above book value. Uh, well, we don't know what book value is. We can't possibly determine book value here. Uh, book value is the theoretical liquidation value of the corporation. And we, we need a lot more information. We need basically a balance sheet or some kind of a you know more information. So I'm not sure what the uh, problem here was for this particular test taker. Maybe just uh, too much information to overload here. Uh, but the answer is A, the price to earnings ratio is 15 to 1. Uh, if you're taking a 65 or 66, I would also know that if I'm a value investor, I'd be looking for a lower price to earnings ratio. What this means is it's going to take me 15 years in earnings to get back what I paid in price. And so as a value investor, I'd want a lower P.E., if I'm a growth investor, I'd be willing to pay a higher P.E. ratio because the idea there is the earnings are going to grow, right? That the earnings today are going to be low, much lower than they are in the future. So I hope that was helpful. Remember, inch by inch, your exam's a cinch, yard by yard, your exam is hard. Uh, this comes from the Kaplan Q Bank. If you don't have a Kaplan Q Bank, I highly recommend it as a paid supplement with my Guru 15 uh, discount code at checkout. You can get a QBank for about 50, 60 bucks. And for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look on Kaplan content. I'll see you for the next explication request. If you have one, send it to explication request at guruexamprep.com.